How do you find the area of that shape then? Okay, so last time we found the indefinite integral of x squared, which was x cubed over three plus c. So have we got to use that now somehow? Yeah, so looking at our question, 0.6 is the upper limit, and if we plug that where x is, we get the area under the curve from an undefined point up to where x is 0.6. So the area is 0.6 cubed over three plus c. Yep, so that's the first area we're gonna be dealing with. Now let's do the same thing for our lower limit, which is this 0.2 right here. So 0.2 cubed over three plus c will be the value of this second area here. Wait, 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 do both those areas we just worked out start from the same place on the graph? Yep and they both have the same C value. Now that we have both of them placed on the graph, do you notice anything interesting? Oh, is that a shape in there? Correct. The area the question is asking us for is the difference between the two areas we just found. So if you do this further up area minus this other one, what's left will be the exact shape we wanted. And it doesn't even matter what the C value could have been because either way, we take away the same one from the other. So the answer to the question is just this. Yes. So the area under X squared between 0.2 and 0.6 comes out as 0 